All right, let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. It is Monday. Time for the Monday message. Time to chat with everybody. So glad we are all getting to chat today. Crazy fired up about so many things right now. So let me tell you something. Um, I have learned in my time, in my 20 years of doing this, I have learned that you can measure uh, the, the pulse of a team at certain points, and it will tell you a lot about what's going on. In other words, key critical points. You measure the pulse and you go... Holy cow, we are smoking. So one of the times that I love to measure that pulse is after a holiday. How does the team perform going into and out of a holiday? Does the team kind of stumble out of a holiday? Does, does the team, you know, just take a whole two weeks off? You know, like, how does the team do? Well, this team moved into the holiday and through the holiday with momentum. And I know a lot of y'all had some great time with your families, and that's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it but you moved through with momentum. We had another strong week of production, um, and then we are just smoking out the gates this week. Um, hearing what got written over this weekend, I know what I personally wrote, and then I was meeting with some of my base shop leaders, hearing, you know, hey, I wrote 9,000 this weekend, I wrote 7,000 this weekend. We have those kind of things happen. I'm just, gets me so fired up thinking about a team moving, and it's just, because I'm telling you, this is a key time of year. November and December are when new legends are made. November and December, especially these next 20 days in December, oh my goodness, they are key. They are key, critical, critical, critical. And so when I see we've got that momentum going into this key part of the year, it's, it just keeps me fired up out of my mind. And, and, and I know that takes leadership and I know that takes determination. I'm so proud of this team. Um, last week's Monday message, holy cow, I'm still Still excited after that call. Still excited after that call. Got so much great stuff from Soto and Beal and Patzer. Uh, the base shop guys shared a lot of stuff on getting people in, in, enrolled in licensing. Um, just so much good stuff coming off of that. And then seeing immediate application. And I mean immediate application. Uh, Diana Castile, we had a Zoom with Andy Albright. I'm going to have her on as a guest here in a minute. Uh, we had her on with Andy Albright on a Zoom on uh, Thursday. It was like, hey, all y'all bring a bunch of people to the Zoom. And she had 11 new people on the Zoom. She's got new people writing business. That's the kind of stuff that gets me fired up when I see immediate application of what we're talking about. That gets me crazy, crazy fired up. Hey, I'm also fired up about Billy Crane right now being down with Andy Albright. Dude, you get you get time with Andy like that. That is, it, I just, I know what it leads to. It leads to massive stuff. So fired up, Billy's down there. Fired up, he's going to come back on fire. Hey, fired up about this. Medicare supplements, we are going to have the most aggressive Medicare supplement compensation system in the country. So if you're new and you've been doing some Medicare and, 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 and you're getting started with us, bring your Medicare to us. We are with the, the new, uh, the new compensation system for Medicare specific is, is going to be, is the most aggressive one in the country. We have crazy ability now with our partnership with integrity to do some crazy things in Medicare that no one else is doing. So um, if you haven't started writing Medicare yet, Dinah Castile is writing Medicare. Sheena is, she's, she's jumping right in it. I mean, I'm telling you, people are, people are, it's money. It's just, sitting there and then medicare leads to more life insurance leads to annuities so it's a it's another critical piece another critical piece and it's just to me it's just you know i'm, I'm somebody that's amazed by, by by small things you know some people's like you know they're they're always so over everything i'm i'm still amazed by small things like i'm amazed that you could sell someone something that doesn't cost them anything and you can still make 500 dollars you sell something that doesn't cost anything and you get, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. To me. I, I still wrap my mind around if I, if I get an $83 check from the client, the insurance company is going to send me <laughs> like seven, eight times that. What? That makes no sense. Um, so Medicare, same way. I'm just going, hey, let's attack it. Let's attack it. Massive, massive opportunity. All right. Let's get to the numbers, and then I've got some guests I want you to hear from. So submitted production this week. And now you know every week pretty much on the Monday message I say, hey, um, it, it, when, when you write business, submit your numbers to us because we don't see, especially a lot of e-apps, we don't see them on submit. We see them on issue paid, but we don't get good data from the carriers on uh, submit. We got a solution for you. Adam's going to go over that in a minute. But this is what we have from submitted the week Coming right out of Thanksgiving. All right, we've got, let's start with all producers over a thousand. We got Jovan, 
Dragonescu. And if I'm not saying that right, buddy, text me. I want to get your name right. $1,076.28. Erkins Powell, $1,083.96. Dontavia Henry, $1,089.72. Diana Castile, $1,273.36. Chris Callis, $1,636.20. Carl Tia Oaks, $1,758.84. Kristen Landry, $1,781.16. Sabrina Floyd, $1,835.04. Jacob Woods, $2,666.16. Jonathan Henderson, Hindu, $2,666.80. His first two apps, he is going to blow this thing up. Andy is so fired up. I'm so fired up. Hutch is so fired up. I'm telling you. Austin Heater, $3,632.88. Mimi Ramiro, $4,438.20. Rogers Strotter, $4,486.56. Billy and Ada Crane, $6,070.68. Sheena Flowers, $7,552.92. Jeremiko Edwards, $8,189.28. Evan Patzer, 12 apps for $8,311.32. Number two, Mr. Hutchison, $11,099.64. Hutch says he is coming roaring back, going to tear up December. And number one last week would be me with 10 applications for $19,242.96. You can understand why I'm staying excited. All right, let's go with recruiting. Now, license, so licensing numbers. Um, Adam, can they submit licensing numbers through the website too when they put people in licensing? They can. Okay. You can make that available. All right. We're going to make that available because we don't see, especially if it's a uh, exam, is exam, is that, do we use exam effects? Is that what, that's what we're doing now? Yeah. We're getting much better results with exam effects. So we don't see when y'all enroll people in exam effects. So submitting that to us too. We want to recognize you for enrolling people in licensing. Uh, Beal and Strader both had enrollees in licensing last week. Now completed fast tracks. We're going to go uh, all with one direct completed fast track. You got Rogers Strotter, Jordan Sims, Keith Phillips, my base shop here, Thomas Brooks and Gustavo Mercedes Tehran, tied with two direct completed fast tracks. Noel Wilson, Jeremiko Edwards, Evan Patzer, Ty, uh, not tied. He ain't been tied in recruiting <laughs> at any level this year. Number one, eight direct completed fast tracks. Brandon Beal, my man. All right, completed contracts. We've got all with one direct completed contract. You got Gustavo and Mercedes Tehran. Gustavo said they are turning up the recruiting heat. Evan Patz or Rogers Strader, Eduardo Soto, Antinian Del Carlo. And if, buddy, if I'm saying your name wrong, please text me a pronunciation key. Keith Cox and Devin Phillips with two direct completed contracts would be my base shop here. And with three direct completed contracts, Brandon Beal. New promotions, all new qualified independent uh, business associates. You got Victor Kimbra, Kristen Landry, Stacey Carter, Maria Weaver, uh, Elvira Abreu, Jessica Turner, Rachel Markham, and Jennifer Jordan. Uh, with uh, qualified business developer, you got Gata Asta and Deshonda Mills and qualified team builders, Kevin Hughes and Sheena Flowers. And Sheena is on it, man. I'm telling you, I just got I, every time I get off one of our base shop leaders zooms. Um, I just, she gets me fired up, man. I, I just love it. She's killing it. We got so many people killing it in the base shop right now. Fired up. All right. Now let's go to the month that was November top 20 producers last month. Number 20 for the month. No, this is issue paid for the month. Number 20, Noel Wilson, number 19, Robert J. And I'm missing your last name here, uh, Robert. I apologize. Sabrina Floyd, Lenoris Washington, number 17. Number 16, Martez Washington. These two guys are beginning ready to tear it up. They're ready to go on a tear. Tucker Parrish, number 15. Mimi Ramiro, number 14. Number 13, Gata Asta, number 12, Diana Castile. Number 11, Deshonda Mills. Number 10, Roger Strader. Number nine, personal producer for the month, Brandon and Ashley Beal. Number eight, in issue paid personal production last month, Evan Patzer. Number seven, Jeremiko Edwards, over 13,000, uh, almost 14,000. Number six, just in front of him, Sheena Flowers, $14,760 in premium. Number five, getting in the top five, Austin Heater, $7,332.44. Number four, Mark Hutchison, $17,593.01. The top three were tight. It was tight. 
So number three would be me with $21,163.44. Number two, Mercedes, $21,449.30. Way to go, Mercedes and Gustavo. And number one, Billy Crane, issue paid production for the month last month, number one. Let's go to recruiting for the month last month. Three-way tie, fifth place. We've got Rogers Strauder, Deshaun Mills, and Keith Phillips. Sole possession of fourth place with three direct contracts would be Noel Wilson, Eduardo Soto, and myself tied at third place. Excuse me. Tied for second place with five contracted agents apiece, Billy Crane and Evan Patzer. And they're both telling me that's just, that's this much of what you're getting ready to see. And number one by a whole, whole lot, 17 direct completed contracts last month, Brandon and Ashley Beal. I think that is all the information that I'm going through before we get the call started. All right. So first thing I want to do, I'm going to turn it over to Adam Lucas in my office for a little bit. He's going to show you exactly what I was talking about, where you can submit your production to us so that every Friday, just come in Friday night, send what you did Monday through Friday. We'll read it off on a Monday message and get you recognition because we want to recognize you. We, we, there's no such thing as too much recognition, right? So we want to get that recognition for you. Adam has been working very hard in our base shop as we've completely restructured the way we do recruiting um, and really restructured the office period. Period. So Adam has been instrumental, instrumental in that. I brought him on specifically to help us build some special, special things. And uh, he's going to show that to you. One, one of the things that we're doing in conjunction with, you know, as part of the alliance and then going partner in integrity. This was one of the pieces we needed to get rocking. So he put a ton of work into it. These guys were in here working late this weekend, late uh, working yesterday too. So I'm going to let him show you what, what he got done. I'm going to let you show um, and keep my word. We're showing you this much of what Adam uh, has been doing here and he's going to show you exactly where to go register your numbers every friday night so we can recognize you on monday on the monday message for what you did this week adam let's do it let's see let's go ahead and i'm a little too tall man I'll squat a little bit <laughs> so what we're going to do here is share the screen let's see Hmm. Here we go. Boom. So here it is. Um, the website. It is live. Um, we've been putting in a lot of work, me and, and also uh, my, my, my team here at the base shop and things are live right now. So uh, the thing I wanted to show you is if you go to the agent portal right at the very top, it will allow you to go ahead and submit your business. Um, we also have some agent resources here, um, which uh, does require a password, but soon, you know, we'll be able to share that out and you can get it to your new recruits to get them trained and ready to rock and roll. So um, to kind of reiterate what Steven said Friday, you know, get those numbers in because we want you to receive recognition for your, for your hard work. So as you see here, you can put all your information in here, uh, in a number, um, contact info. Carriers as well, um, the ones that you uh, written business for, policies number as well. But you could also right here, upload file. If you select that, um, you can submit you know any file that you have. If you use Excel or Google Sheets or whatever you're using, you can just submit it that way as well. And we will go ahead, um, we will go ahead and submit that, and that will come to us. So come Monday, you'll be ready to rock and roll. So uh, that's everything. I want to give it right back uh, to Stephen, and let's see. I think that's it. There you go. Awesome. Thank you, Adam. Dude, I appreciate you so much. Appreciate everything you're doing here. Um, this guy's been just this guy's been huge for us um, and getting things rocking here. And uh, we're moving on, moving into some other recruiting things that that we're now have been made possible by what they're doing. So I'll share more information as we get more information, but fired up by what these guys have been doing. Like I said, they've been working late every day. Um, I know a couple of you guys texted me like, hey, I'm having a hard time getting a hold of someone in the base. That's, these guys are just jamming out, man. So awesome, awesome stuff. All right. So first up, let's get my buddy, Mr. Brandon Beal on. Brandon, dude, your leadership example has been awesome leading the team this year in recruiting, um, drafting people up in you. I mean, you're, you're, you're way out there. But Patrick's getting caught up in it now. Um, Crane's getting caught up in it now. Jeremico's going to get caught up in it. So we're, we appreciate your leadership example, dude. And, um, dude, the, the team you had on that Zoom we did on Thursday, 
but sharp people, hungry people, people I want to see win like crazy. So let me know anytime I can do a Zoom like that for you, brother. I am happy to do everything I can to help you and Ashley win. So light us up a bit, man. Just I just I just want everybody to kind of catch what you, catch what you got going on. I, I want the awesome. recruiting to be contagious. <laughs> <laughs> right? Can you hear me? Okay, man. Loud and clear, brother. Okay, good. Um, I got a stopwatch right here, so I don't over talk. Uh, that way, nobody gives me crap later. Um, thank you, Stephen, for having me on. Um, Adam, that was awesome, dude. Like, I'm, I'm going to start implementing that, like, yesterday. That, that, that looked really, really good. Um, guys, if, if I could just share with you right now kind of what I've been doing and what Ed and I have been kind of implementing over the last 90 days. Um, one thing, if y'all don't know about me, is that I come from the world of sports. And um, whenever I do something, I go, you know, I go face first. <clears throat> I don't dip my toe in the water to see if it's cold or see if it's hot. Like I just go, right? Um, and I'm hell bent on my dreams. I'm hell bent on achieving them, living them. You know what I mean? Like people say, why should I recruit? Well, you want to reach your dreams faster that way. You know what I mean? Um, I know what my why is. And I'm obsessed again with achieving my why. One of my whys is my wife, Ashley. You know, I love that little girl so much that I don't want her to have to work for anything. I, and anything she wants, she can have it within reason. Um, and, and also I want freedom, but I think a lot of people misconstrue what freedom really is. People think freedom is just having time to do whatever you want, but that's not the case. Tim Go says freedom is time plus money. You know what I mean? You could have all the time in the world, but if you ain't got no money, you know what I mean? What are you doing? You know what I mean? But you can have all this money, but if you don't have any time, you know, again, what are you doing, right? Um, so those are my whys, man. Those are my two biggest whys, actually. Um, another why that I have is I want to reach partner. You know, I know that's one of Steven's goals. That's one of Ed's goals. Um, I know there's a few people in Alliance that Integrity is talking to right now, but one of my whys is to reach partner within Integrity. You know what I mean? And to be making one, two, three million dollars a year and integrity sees the growth of my team and my, and, you know, my organization to say, hey, we want to buy out your organization 7X or 10X of what you've been making. Like, can you imagine that making, let's say two million dollars a year and then integrity says, hey, we want to buy you out 10X. Uh, yeah, where do I sign? You know what I mean? But you can't do that without a solid team built around you, okay? You just cannot do it. You can't, there's no one man team. There's no one man wrecking crew. So Brandon, this is awesome. How do I get there? Well, you gotta be willing to invest, man. Uh, scared money don't make money. We all know that, but we also are sympathetic and empathetic to the fact that we know that money doesn't grow on trees and not a lot of people have money to get started. Talk to your upline. You know what I mean? Talk to me, talk to Soto, talk to Steven, talk to Billy, talk to Jeremiko, see what they can do to help you to invest in recruiting because there are some very selfless and big hearted people here that I'm sure will go out of your way to help you. Um, and also with recruiting, um, again, with the scared money, don't make money. I had to build up to what I'm doing right now. Right now, I'm, and I'm full transparency, full disclosure, like I invest $2,500 a month into my recruiting. And I was just talking to Ed about this over the weekend. Like I've done the math since January when, I'm sorry, since February, when we had our gala with, with the Davies group and Andy Riddle came and spoke with us. And cause you know, he's our, you know, company's leading recruiter. Um, I've been putting in so much money and I look to see how much I've made back. And it's almost been two X, you know, I've almost doubled what I've put into it. So it's definitely worth the investment guys. Even if you can only do 50 bucks a month, a hundred dollars a month, like, Get yourself a zip recruiter, get yourself an Indeed, you know, get on this Facebook thing that we're doing. I mean, it's going to do wonders for you. It's going to work wonders for you. And it's going to help you reach your dreams a heck of a lot faster. Um, and people need to know that you care about them. It's not enough to just put in all this width and all this depth. Like, I'm pretty sure that Noel Wilson knows that I'm a phone call away if he ever needed me. Like, I'm there. You know, I'm in Cleveland. I'm on the next flight to Cleveland just like that. You know, Kristen knows that if if she needed me, I'm on the next flight to Louisiana. You know what I mean? I want all of my people, Natalia, Carlos, all these people I'm seeing out here, Sarah, like if they needed me, Erica, if she needs me, not only am I a phone call away, but if it's really important, I'm willing to jump on a plane and go and see these people and see what I can do to help.
You know, it's not enough to just text back and forth, email back and forth and just, hey, do this and do that. Like, no, people need to know you care about them. And I care about each and every one of my guys and gals on my team that's in my care. And on this call, too, like you guys have questions, you know, you can reach out to me. Um, also, too, with recruiting guys, it's a numbers game. OK, one of the mistakes I made was I would hire Stephen Davies and then I would get so caught up on Stephen and trying to get him going and get him, you know, moving, as we call it, that I wouldn't go recruit another guy or I wouldn't go and talk to another girl. You know what I mean? I would get so hung up on this one person. You have to. And then he wouldn't work out. And then I get so pissed off because I put all my time, effort, energy and money into this guy and he just did not pan out. That's OK. That's going to happen. That's why we say, well, I say hire the world. <laughs> it's an ongoing joke between me and no we'll hire the world and then we'll weed out, you know, the not so bright people, you know, while we're doing it. You know what I mean? So if I hire a hundred, I use the 10% rule. If I hire a hundred, I sure better expect to find 10 solid people every single time you hire 200, 20 people. And within those hundred to 200 people that I'm hiring, like we have to find people that are ready, willing, and able as Andy calls it. Right. But also, too, you want to find people that are talented, ambitious, and committed. I like to think that I'm super ambitious and super committed. And committed kind of borderlines obsession. You know what I mean? And again, it goes back to my why. It goes back to what I want. you got to know what you want, man. you got to know what you want. If you don't know what you want, talk to Steven, talk to Ed, talk to Jeremiko, talk to Billy, talk to me. We will help you figure out what you want. Because I guarantee you know what you want. And if you know what you want, be obsessed with it. Like be obsessed with it and go after it. No distractions, no excuses, right? We all got stuff going on. I've got stuff going on that people don't know about. I'm sure Ed does. I know Steven does. But we don't let it distract us from what's important. We don't let it distract us from our goals. You know what I mean? I'll be the first to tell you, yeah, I'll take five minutes and I'll pout, I'll cry, I'll do whatever I got to do. I'll curl up in the corner, but then I got to snap out of it and get back to work, right? Um, all in all, guys, be obsessed with what you want. Because in this company, Andy has built a platform to where you can achieve whatever you want through selling, recruiting, and building. Selling, recruiting, and building. But if you want to make a six-figure income, you can sell all day long. We love it. We love you. If you want to build a massive organization and integrity to buy you out tenfold, you need to build, you need to recruit, and you need to build. I'm, I'm hell-bent, Stephen, on, dude, I, I can't put into words how excited I am, and I can't put into words about the team that, that I have growing right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like you said, that group of girls that we had on a Zoom call last week, like, we got to do that at least once or twice a month, man, because some of these girls are going to kick some of these dudes. I excuse my language, but they are. You know what I mean? I'm excited about them. I'm excited about what we, we got the new 22% across the board, you know, increase. And I just can't wait to see going into the new year, new things that are going to happen. So it's been eight minutes exactly now. So I'll turn it over back to you, man. And uh, as always, brother, thank you for having me on. I love it, dude. I love it, dude. Holly and I love you guys so much, man. It's just so awesome to see you performing at a high level because Holly and I love you guys so much. It's just seeing the, it's just, God, I guess we fired up. And I got like, I got cold chills all over hearing you talk about going partnered in integrity because it wasn't just, it wasn't just like, you know, this is, yeah, we're it was, there was a firmness and a definiteness and a clarity in the way you were saying it that absolutely gave me cold chills. Like, you're going partner with integrity. Oh, no doubt. 100 yep. percent Like if oh man. Woo. Dude, start let's start playing the celebration now. Let's start planning the I'm celebration now. What are we gonna do? Right? What are we gonna yep. do? What are we gonna do? God, I'm man. not a smoker, but I'm thinking about breaking out some cigars. <laughs> there you go, brother. I'm telling you what, man, it's gonna be awesome to watch the journey. It's gonna be awesome to watch the celebration. It's gonna be awesome to see the next chapter. Whew, got me fired up, brother. Thank you. Thank you for all the points you made, dude. Thank you, Steve. It's an investment and it's a smart, a smart investment. It's gonna it, if you invest, it will grow. If you invest, it will grow. It's definite. And dude, you said one of my favorite things of all time. I'd say it all the time. The first time I heard Andy Albright say it, I was like, oh, I'm blocking that one in. Scared money don't make money. I mean, that's <laughs> scared money don't make money. Scared, scared money sits in a savings account at 
you know, 1%. <laughs> Scared money don't make money. Invest, attack. I love it. Thanks, brother. Thanks, man. Appreciate your example. Keep lighting it up, man. Awesome. All right, let's get uh, let's get my buddy Patser on too. Patser came in, out of the holiday week. You heard the numbers. Came out smoking, um, and he's out there making it happen. Just got just walked out of an appointment, gone away on the way to another appointment. Um, he's been a, a, a fixture on the dial jam. Um, which, by the way, if you want to lead on the dial jam, all you gotta do is text me. I would love to put you on an open mic. Um, but Evan, just share some of the good stuff, man. Just share a little bit of the magic. You came out of the holiday, holiday smoking, and I know you're going to go through the rest of December absolutely on fire. So just share some of the good stuff, brother. Hey, man, Steven, can you hear me loud and clear? Loud and clear, bro. Awesome, man, man. I'm fired up, man, especially this year, uh, listening to uh, my buddy Brandon Beal talk. I mean, I want to piggyback a little bit off of what he said. Uh, but once again, always, uh, always grateful, always an honor and a privilege uh, never take it lightly to be on the Davies Nation Monday message. Uh, the, the love I have for you and Holly, the respect I have for you and Holly, how much you believed in me and invested your time and energy into helping me grow. Um, there, there's no price that I can put on that. So I'm very grateful to you, Stephen. Um, I'm so grateful to Ed Soto as well, the amount of time and energy he pours in, money he pours in um, to me. And it's just, I wouldn't be here at all if it wasn't for you guys, if it wasn't for Andy Albright, uh, reaching out to me and pouring into me on a regular basis as well. So, I mean, I'm just ecstatic, you know, I'm like the energizer bunny. I just am always going, you know, most of the time you see me, I'm on a call. I'm probably in the car. It's because I can't sit still. Like the opportunity we have is so massive and it keeps getting bigger. Even before I thought it could get any bigger, it keeps getting bigger. It keeps getting better. And so, you're exactly right, Stephen. I'm not letting up. You know, a lot of people are looking at the holidays. Hey, we've got like what, you know, less than three weeks to Christmas and then you've got New Year's and a lot of people start to slow down and start thinking, okay, well, I'll just pick it back up in the beginning of the year. That's the absolute worst thing that you can do, guys, especially with the new rollout of the increase of 22 percent. Um, and all the great things that we have going like if, if I could have I don't have that coin on me right now. It's in the house. Uh, but the what do you want? How do you get it? So I'm looking at things like, well, now that we've got this 22% raise across the board, that just takes the lid off of everything. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to piggyback off of what uh, Brandon Beal was talking about. Brandon is talking about investing, investing in his team, investing in himself, investing in leads. These things are what rich people do to get richer or what people who want to get rich have to do to get rich or wealthy or abundant or whatever you want. So the way I look at this is not, oh, I'm going to make more money on my sales now. The way I look at this new uh, increase in compensation is this is giving me the ticket and the opportunity to get free quicker. <laughs> and so what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to keep uh, stepping on the gas pedal with my recruit uh, with my sales. Um, because, hey, we've got to be the example for our team. I'm looking forward to bringing in more and more and more people. I'm looking to get my numbers up recruiting-wise up to where Brandon Beals have been lately and just kind of competing at that level because I know what I want. And what I want is also to become partner. What I know that I'm going to get is also being partner. And I know the formula to get there. And so I just got to do whatever it takes. And that should be your mindset. Like, okay, maybe you don't want all that but if you do it's available to you and we've got the formula just like the the uh the millionaire maker manual um it's an actual manual on how to make over a million dollars a year in this company and i know for a fact stephen davies has read that multiple times and goes back to it regularly and applies what andy albright wrote in that book to make sure he continues to make over a million dollars a year now we've got the opportunity to actually have ownership in something we're building that's massive and i'm not going to take that lightly so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep stepping on the, the, the gas pedal. We're going to be putting in ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a week to make business. I'm not letting up on that. And I'm going to invest every single leftover dollar that I have available into recruiting and investing in people that want to get out there and do it too. And so I'm excited about it. Uh, the reason we've got to do it now, we can't wait till January 1, is, hey, you need that momentum going in January 1. The beginning of January starts now not in January. It's how it works, guys. You need to get business turned in. You need to get people selling now 
after that business gets you issued in January. And that's going to start off by allowing people to get higher comps, super PAC, uh, contract level increases, um, and just work to, uh, closer to getting that goal. So I'm excited, Stephen. I hope you can hear it in my voice. I think you can hear it in my voice. Uh, very grateful to be a part of this organization. Hey, guys, we've literally got, I said this last week, we've literally got everything, all the pieces to the puzzle, everything that anybody could want out of an IMO here at the Alliance. There's no reason why anybody should want to go anywhere else unless they just don't want to do insurance. So let's get them all, right? Let's build massive. Let's get free quicker. Um, I, I'm so grateful, man. That's all I've got to say for now, man. I'm excited and um, I, I can't wait, man. Oh, I absolutely hear the excitement in your voice, bro. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I love it, man. Thanks for sharing. Um, so proud of you out there, the example you're setting, man. You're right. Every time I see you, you're in your car. I mean, <laughs> you're just out there making it happen, dude. That is awesome. So proud of you. Appreciate your example, bro. And uh, yes, let's, let's keep leading it. Let's keep leading them on through the end of the year into 2021 on absolute fire. Awesome. All right. All right. One more guest I want to get on before I, I get into the message today. Um, and, and that's Diana Castile. Um, coming off of last week's call, you know, all about recruiting. She just goes and does it. I'm telling you, just remember this, write this down. This is, this is a truth that is as clear. It's as true as gravity. You are what you do. You are what you do, not what you intend. You are what you do. So if you want to be a top performer, all you got to do is top performer things. If you want to build your legacy and get your, get your integrity, you know, multi, multi-million dollar check and all the millions of stock and all that, all you got to do is do what those people do. Do what Paul Roberts does. I mean, that's do what Andy Albright, you are what you do. So when I see someone hear a call all about recruiting and then just go and attack um, Thursday on a Zoom, Andy did with my base shop outside of Soto and Jeremiko and that, that whole universe. She had 11 people on, she got new people right in business. So I just wanted to give her some recognition and hear a little bit of what's going on in your world, Diana. Uh, well, first of all, thank you very much for uh, inviting me to speak on this call, Steve. And, um, it, you know, between the Monday message and you know the TWC and, and, and the call that we did with Andy, I'm just I'm, I'm so grateful. First of all, for you know the the changes and and everything that's going on within uh, the alliance and, and and opportunity for the partnership with the uh, integrity um, because for me the opportunity to really be able to have this legacy to be able to leave um, to, to my family is, is is such a huge opportunity you know for those of you who you know are, are new to uh, the alliance uh, you know i've got like nine thousand children and grandchildren and for me just to be able to to leave this you know such a, a huge wealth of opportunity to them that's that is what's really got me fired up you know i just i there's no way in my soul that i i can I like i literally am up at night just thinking about how much i i need to still be doing and what can i do and and, and how much more i can be doing because i can't I can't let this opportunity pass me by. Like we are at the, we're at the ground floor of being able to grab a hold of, of such a huge thing with being able to have the increase in uh, the commissions and being able to really take a hold of the recruiting and stuff. I mean, there, there's so many things that we have just laid right here at our feet and, you know, to have, you know, this chosen family that we get to be a part of and get to be a part of this growth and this opportunity is, is such a huge thing. And I just, I, I can't say how grateful I am to be here and to be a part of this. And, you know, just it fires me up to be able to, you know, say, here you go and, and leave, you know, such a legacy to my children and my grandchildren. And, I, you know, I just, I want to do everything I can to be able to share this with other people and their families so that they can, you know, to be able to help their families to continue to, you know, grow and 
give it as well. So, you know, that's for me, that that's that's what's gotten me just, you know, so fired up and, and just continuing to just want to keep going. And you know, I heard, you know, Evan talking about it uh, when he was speaking on the last call about, you know, not hearing these opportunities we have and saying, okay, well, you know, awesome, we got this increase. And so I can take this and just kind of coast, but to take this opportunity and continue to move forward and take it and, and pour more, you know, gas on that fire and, and listening to, you know, Ashley and Brandon and, you know, just continuing to take some of their passion and burn and continues to go on with it. You know, it's just, it, it's, it's con everybody that we've got this just moving on. It, it, it's helping me to just want to go more and more and more. So it's just, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm very rarely at a loss for words and I'm just so excited about everything that we have going on and even being able to do this you know, remotely, because I know, you know, there's some of us that we, you know, we got things going on and there's no reason at this point, we have so many opportunities that, you know, people are like, well, I can't do it because of this and I can't do it. Like, yeah, no, nah, nah, you can do it anywhere. And I'm, I'm grateful for all of the tools that we got in our bag right now. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm proud of you for attacking, coming out of last week's call. Continue to attack. Let me know how I can help. Put me in the game. Um, Andy was so fired up after that Zoom. I'm uh, just going Castile. Or actually, he didn't say Castile. He said Cracker Barrel's going to kill it. Um, and if you don't know why we, why he calls her Cracker Barrel, uh, that's because she was at Cracker Barrel before uh, she came on board here. And uh, absolutely killing it. I'm so proud of you, Diana. Proud of you, too, for picking up the Medicare Proud of you for picking up the health products. You and Sheena, I know in our base, have done an awesome, jo awesome job of picking up the Medicare, picking up the health products, adding it to what you're doing. Just awesome. Appreciate your example. All right, let's get going. Here's the message. And I'm going to try and get done a little early today. Here's the message. Beware of habit slides. That's where we pick up a good habit and we do it. And then we start to slide back. We do it all the time, right? We, we start, we get, uh, we get back from the dentist. You're like, Dad, gum it, I'm going to start flossing. And we do good for a while. But then we uh, got up a little late. We'll skip flossing today. You know, got up a little. You know. And then we start sliding. See, the, it's not that you can stop the slide from happening. The key is, Notice and rebound quick. In other words, notice the first time you start to slide back and go, wait a second, I can't do that. I'm going to go partner like Brandon and Ashley Beal. And if I, if, I don't, if I don't get back to doing what was working, I'm never going to get there. I was, I was talking with one of you guys this week and I was just like, dude, recruiting two people a month, it's going to take forever for you to go partner. You likely won't. I don't want to be negative, but I got to be real. Just onesie twosie is not going to get you to partner. You can't you can't get enough critical mass. Why do you think Brandon had? And I I know you had to hear it the certainty in his voice when he talked about going partner. That's a man that's that's clear about it. That's why I got so excited just hearing him talk about it. Because I was like, that's going to happen. Why do you think he has that clarity? Because he put in seventeen directs last month. On top of Noel and other guys on his team recruiting, I mean, he, he, he's, 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 he's going to do it. He's going to do it. So the key is, Brandon, you're going to slide at some point, catch it and rebound. Does that make sense? Catch it and rebound. Hey, no different than fitness, right? Nobody ever gets completely out of shape overnight. It's not like you wake up. It's like, Dad, gum it. I, I went to bed in perfect shape. I, what the heck happened? I must have slept wrong. I went ahead and gained about 40 pounds. What the heck? It don't happen overnight. Here's what it's called. This is a danger. It's a not, not just a danger with health and business. It's a danger in your marriage. It's a danger with your kids. It's called incremental degradation. And that's what we're talking about. When I talk about the slide, catch it, rebound quick. Because nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. Andy's not perfect. It's funny, Tom, people go, you know, you know you're not perfect. I'm like, oh, I am well aware. <laughs> you're basing that judgment on just the parts you see 
<laughs> I see that and all the other dumb things I do. I am clear I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect, but you catch it and you get right back to it. You catch it and get right back to it. So that's what I want to highlight today is five, five things. Just be aware. Be aware. So if you catch yourself, you rebound quick. Rebound quick. Get right back at it because because you're not perfect. I, I, have, I have some relatives that are under a different understanding. <laughs> I know you do too. We all got them like that, right? But you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. But what we've got to do is rebound faster. Makes sense. And, and, and if you ask Brandon about, about health, about training, you know, all the stuff he did as an athlete. Yeah, nobody's perfect. Now, routine is a, is a savior. God, if I didn't have a routine, I was talking to my base shop about my routine on Monday because <laughs> I was trying to squeeze in a call. I was like, I literally do the same exact thing every Monday. Um, routine is helpful, but you're still never going to be perfect. So just catch it. And, and the ones I'm talking, the ones I'm going to talk about today are easy to miss. So you just got to be aware. You just, just be aware. You be aware. I be aware. We make it safe where we can remind each other and, and we'll all get there faster. All right, so number one, leaving gratitude for griping. Remember, we're always on a spectrum. Grateful to them, we slide to self-centered. Everything's about me. Nobody's giving me enough love. Nobody's giving me enough respect. Nobody's giving me, I, 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 right? Now, you and I, we're not down there. We're doing our best to stay here, but it's so easy to slip back. It's so easy to leave off little things. I'm going to tell you something, and this is 100% my fault, okay? I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you something I heard in passing, and it just broke my heart. I was just like, God, what the heck? I was so upset. I'm just telling you. And it, it was not a passive-aggressive deal. It was, not a, it was not a guilt trip. It was just in passing, Andy said this key thing on a, on a call that just a very few of us were on. He said, you know, Davies team used to lead the country in gratitude. And I went, oh, my gosh, Stephen, what in the world, dude? Used to, God, man, I screwed up. I screwed up. That was the impetus of this whole call. I was going, man, what did I, but just, I, I let up. I let up on my messages about gratitude. And then I started thinking, ah, I let up on a couple personal example things. Ah. Andy was talking about the power of gratitude. He's saying, yeah, they used to, all the time, they would be handwritten notes saying thank you. And, I, so, and those of y'all that go back with me, you know I preached that. And I preached and I preached it. And we did it and we did it and we did it. And at some point, I stopped talking about it. It was working so good. It was like a diet, right? What's the number one diet killer? <laughs> Results. <laughs> <laughs> you get on scale, be like, hmm, I think I'm going to go to Rocky's Hot Chicken Shack today. My number was good, right? <laughs> number one killer, number one killer. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But I, at some point, I quit talking about it as much. And dead gum it if I didn't quit doing it at some point, right? And I was going, I got to get better. And, and I'll tell you, there was a key moment in New York City where it just hit me like a ton of bricks of power of gratitude. So one of the things that I would always do on the trips, because uh, we did a the trip one year was the extension was in New York City, and the main trip was in Punta Cana. So it was a really cool trip, really cool trip. New York City, Broadway, all that stuff, crazy restaurants, um, and, and then and then you know then you fly to the Caribbean. It was just awesome. So we get to the hotel in Times Square there, and the first thing I always do is make sure that I send a bottle of wine with a handwritten note from Holly. And I to Andy and Jane, just one more time, thanking them again for this crazy experience we're about to have. And Jane, so we, you know, I do my thing. I'm always like, you know, scheming up how to get it there. You know, you don't want to send the, you, you don't want to send it with hotel staff. Cause sometimes I've learned that they think the bottle of wine is a tip for delivering the thank you card <laughs> that happened one time. I was like, that gun, what? So I get to the, get it to the adventure staff. Right. So I'm doing all that. And then we're getting ready to go to the show. I think we're going to Phantom of the Opera, crazy dinner, something like that. And then Jane texts Holly and says, Hey, got your thank you card and the bottle of wine. Just so y'all know, y'all are the only ones that always do that. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, that's so simple. And I'm not doing it to try and like, be like, you know, 
you know, let, go look at my example. No, I'm just saying simple things like that have such an impact. But again, we're talking about the slide. Some point, some point I quit talking about it. I'm with you, Jeremiko. I'm with you, buddy. Yeah, I'm with you. So when we, when we slide, we got to catch it. And this, 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 uh, I think it was Saturday, Friday or Saturday. It was late. I was just like, ah, I got to talk about this. I got to talk about this with the team. I got confession is good for the soul, right? I got to talk about it with the team, right? And then it, it then I, when I started thinking on other things, I was like, this is a careful, this is an easy thing to slide on. This is an easy thing to slide on. But if you and I can help each other and all help each other, we will all go partner faster by not letting these things slide, by not, by not letting a day go by without expressing gratitude. Mark Hutchison posted or told me or something one time, and it stuck with me, and I've, I've, I've pawned it off as an original thought more times than I can imagine, uh, more times than I can remember. Um, it said, what if you had to start tomorrow with only the things you were grateful for today? And I went... Yep, I got to get better. <laughs> I got to get better. And the crazy part is, right, who you are is who you are. These people that are all about compartmentalization, they're dysfunctional, right? Who you are is who you are, right? Who you are, who you are with, with the business is who you are at home. And then I started thinking, Dad Gummit, I, I, when's the last time I left a love note for Holly? I got to get better at it. Dad Gummit, I slid. I didn't, I didn't realize I slid. I thought I was doing good. <laughs> I thought I was killing it. Turns out I slid, right? Turns out I slid. So that's number one. The, the slide goes from gratitude to gripey. Now, now we don't ever get, we don't, we don't end up down there. We might end up there for five minutes one day, but then we get our mind right. The other day, Holly was like, you don't normally wake up this grumpy. And I was like, I'm grumpy? Crap. <laughs> All right, get my mind right. Um, we, don't, we don't end up or stay down there, but, but you and I, we've got to stay closer up here. So let's help each other with that. All right, here's the next slide from 100% to 90%, 100% to 90%. Now we're not talking about going to 0%, right? That's not us. That's not you and me, because we're leaders. We, we cannot in good conscience give less than 90% to what we're doing. We just can't. We're not, those kind of, we're not those kind of people that can make peace with it. We're doers, we're not explainers, right? But sometimes we slip from 100% to 90%. That's the cause of the jams. I was try trying to coach a guy through a mess in his finances. I'm just like, he thinks it's all bad luck. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to get, it's not all bad luck. It's that every time things start getting a little bit better, he lets up. Every time he starts getting a little bit of money, he lets up. And so it's just a constant, constant, you know, constant, kind of like, kind of like when some, you know, some of us, you know, first learned how to drive with a clutch. It's kind of like that, right? Because it's, it's, it's never a hundred percent for long enough. Now you get scared getting a jam. Oh my God, I got all this. And I go crazy. But will we keep that? Will we keep that 100% or will we slide back to 90? And, and that's not anything. It's, it's no different than in a marriage, right? You get shaken up. All of a sudden, <laughs> they're super upset with you and you start acting right again, right? Will we stay? How close to that can we stay without sliding back? How close can we stay without sliding back? But we've got to catch that when we start slide from 100 back to 90. I'm not talking about 10% or 0%. We're not those people. But, but, but in the stuff that matters, and those of y'all that know me, you know the three areas of my life that I am all in on. In those areas, am I giving 100% or am I sliding back? Did, was it 100 or a slide back? All right, next one. This is big. This is big. I've seen this in me. I've seen it in others. I've, I've even seen it in top leaders. So if, so if any of these, if, Hey, just so you know, if any of these hit you, you're in good company. <laughs> you're with this giant group of us called messes in progress, <laughs> works in progress. Number three, sliding from chasing a dream to doing a job, sliding from chasing a dream to doing a job. Here's where it'll show up. I'm doing interviews, I'm booking appointments. Did you hear the tone? I'm doing a job. I'm not chasing a dream. Think about the fire you saw on my guest's face. Those are people that are currently in dream chasing mode. So the, the three of them, me and you, all of us, we got to stay there and not slide back to where we just, here's, here's what doing a job is, going through the motions, going through the motions. And it's the same thing in, in business and in life, right? In your relationship, are you chasing a dream or are you just trying not to have it fall apart? 
chasing a dream. It's offense, it's defense, right? So number three is going from chasing a dream to doing a job. See, Diana, can you stay there and not let it slide back? And when you can't, when you start slide back, get, get right back at it. Evan, can you stay there, right? I know you can. Not perfect, but dad gummit, we can stay up, up, up tight to it, right? When we catch ourselves going through the motion, flip the switch, get back chasing a dream. Building that legacy Paul Roberts talk about, talked about. It's not just recruiting and hiring people. It's getting closer every day to that integrity partnership. It's every day getting closer. They're chasing that dream of what it's going to do for you. You heard Brandon say, I know my why. He knows why he's doing it. That's called chasing the dream. So the key is, Brandon, me and you, we got to remind each other, stay there. Stay there. Don't slide back into just going through the motions. All right, number four, we go from trying to tightening. Trying is, all right, hey, we're doing Medicare. Let's go. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure it out. Hey, Megan Wood just talked about how she loops back constantly to her clients with the hospital indemnity products, with the, with the, with the cancer products. With the, with, she loops back to them with that. Look at the Medicare. Hey, Sheena, Sheena, you're trying, right? You're trying. You're trying. What, what me and you got to be careful about is not sliding back to where we start getting tightening and we start limiting what we're willing to do. This is especially tough, especially tough once we've had some results. Bill, I've seen this before, man. Top personal producer, just that did dilly dallies, did just plays with recruiting, plays with recruiting. And they, they, they may not connect the dots, but here's 100% what's going on. One of two things, either they're just happy making what they're making and, and they're just not willing to, to put themselves out there. But more often than not, Bill, they're, they're, they're afraid of going through what you went through on your way to becoming a top recruiter. They're afraid of the failure that will come. They're afraid of the frustration that will come. They're afraid of the screw ups that will come. <laughs> I promise you, when I put my, my heart back to personal production again, I screwed up so much stuff. It's not even funny. And I was just going, God, not only are you rusty, not only are you rusty, you're bad at your job, right? You got to get better, right? But they're not willing to go through that, they're not willing to go through it. You did, and you're on the other side, right? And you're going to go through it more because as you go partner, there's going to be new things that you need to do. So we, we've got to be careful, me and you, let's keep each other up there towards trying and not being scared and not sliding back to tightening. You'll see that happen to people in life. You'll see, God, you'll see it happen. They just, they, they lock down on what they're going to do and then they slowly begin the dying process. Not me and you. We got to keep trying, keep screwing up. Keep. We hear somebody doing something. I mean, we're we're full on copying what uh, what Soto set up and what he's doing with you guys and what Riddle's doing. You know that Soto helped him with. I mean, we're. I mean, it was not what we were doing, but by God, we're going to copy. You know, see, you know what I'm saying? We've got to keep trying. We've got to keep trying. We cannot get tight where we just get rigid and won't do certain things that are outside of comfort zone. Last one, and this is big. This is big. This is big in your business. This is big in your relationship. This is big with your kids. This is big with your health. This is big. We got to be careful of sliding from today people to tomorrow people, non-productive people. People don't get anything done in their life. People that are a mess financially, people that are messing their relationships, people that are just, they don't get anything done. The big, you know, the busiest day for the busiest day of the year for those folks is they all got one day of the year. That's the busiest day of the year. This one day is the busiest day of the year. You don't know what day that is tomorrow. Why? Why is that the busiest day of the year from? Because it's when they're going to do everything. They're not going to do anything today. Is it going to do it tomorrow? I'm going to start recruiting tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to invest more heavily tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to leave a love note tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take time to express gratitude tomorrow. I'm going to start eating right tomorrow. I'm going to work out tomorrow. I'm going to say I love you to the people that matter tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to get around to it tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. We're all susceptible to it. When we're, on, when we're, when we're locked in, like me and you were locked in right now, we're today people. We don't, we, don't, we don't wait for tomorrow. We're today people. But when we start getting some results, we start – Sliding back, start sliding back into where tomorrow, eh, you know what, well, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll start figuring out that Medicare supplement stuff. Tomorrow I'll start running some ads. Tomorrow we start sliding, man. We start sliding. 
Not tomorrow, today, today, today. Why? Because it's the only thing we got. It's the only thing we got. So as I'm thinking about this message and I'm chewing on it all weekend, I'm just going, God, I got to get better at today, 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 today. Why? Because if I'm gone tomorrow, if I'm gone tomorrow, does Holly know exactly how much I love her? If I'm gone tomorrow, did I teach my kids enough leadership stuff that they will be able to, to be productive and grow without me to, to, to mark today, right? Did I, did I do enough stuff to help the team today so that they're equipped and not wait until tomorrow? Did I do enough today? That's, that's massive. And like I said, on all five of these, we're not perfect. We're going to slide back. It's, it's just part of what we deal with. It's part of the struggle. But if you and I can remind each other, say, hey, Bo, quit waiting on tomorrow, right? Quit waiting on tomorrow. Quit waiting on tomorrow to be the day that you put that list together. Or quit waiting on tomorrow to be the day that you call that sharp person from high school that you remember. Quit waiting until tomorrow. Today, if we can remind each other that, I'm telling you we'll get there faster. I'm telling you we'll get there faster. I'm telling you, you'll go partner with integrity. You'll get that massive, massive 10X buyout that Brandon's talking about. You'll get the millions in stock, stock that people wish they could buy. You can't buy integrity stock. That thing is smoking. You can't buy it unless you go partner. You can't buy it. You can't. I'm just telling you, you're going to get there. You're going to get there, but we got to remind each other. We got to remind each other on these things. And when we catch ourselves sliding, we got to get right back at it. Guys, I thought I was going to try and end early. I will end a few minutes early. I've got a million things to do. I know you do too. Holly and I love you. We want you to win. We want you to, we want you to go partner at integrity more than you can possibly imagine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The dial jam is going to start at 2.30. I am telling you, I've been doing this 20 years. What we do with what we have left of 2020 is everything with where we're going to go in 2021 it's everything evan talked about it. the momentum we the momentum we create now in our sales and our recruiting is everything with what's going to happen in 2020 the momentum you come in with is all the momentum you're going to have to work with you can't create more momentum then now is when we create it guys holly and i love you hammer down let's go get it done